Hey guys, today we're looking at Royal Craftwood's food grade mineral oil, uh, all natural product for finishing wood projects is what I use it for. Uh, Royal Craftwood, they sell a lot of bamboo products, so they recommend this for their finishing off their bamboo uh, conditioner, you know, keeps it looking good from soaking up stains, bad odors, anything like that. But I use mine mostly for wood, pro uh, wood projects. Uh, I make some soap dishes for a lady who sells handcrafted soaps. All natural, no harsh chemicals, anything like that. And I use mine to finish her soap dishes, which you see in the background here. I've got a couple that I've done up. And uh, it really makes them look good as well as keeps them uh, in in good shape. Um, they're made of cedar so they're rot resistant already but uh, a little coating mineral oil adds a little extra protection to them as well as you know being all natural so she can say everything's all natural. Uh, the stuff is great. I, I love the mineral oil look and like here's a piece of cedar that I've got and uh, it's got a light coat on there already we'll give you a little more a little dab and show you it soaks it in, gives it a little darker color. This is the natural side that's not been finished yet with an ugly knot in it, but you can see the difference. Let's go halfway up. It brings out the color and the, the grain on the wood. So that's what it's going to do on your countertops and your, uh, you know, your butcher blocks, your cutting boards. It's just going to bring out some of the natural grain and lines to it, the color, without staining it where it's uh, you know, going to be a different color altogether. You get the end grain, it really soaks it in there and that looks good. So yeah, that's what I use it for. Uh, it's kitchen use, like I say, butcher blocks, uh, granite countertops says apply a little coating on there and let it soak in and wipe it off. So yeah, you can't go wrong. So yeah, Royal Craftwood Food Grade Mineral Oil. Hey guys, today we're going to look at some uh, Royal Woodcraft Food Grade Mineral Oil for a light finish on some soap dishes that I've made up for a lady. She sells all natural soaps and she needs all natural finishes. So I go with mineral oil. And here's a food grade model from Royal Woodcraft. And that's what we're going to use today. I'll tell you how I do it. I just take a little tub, I fill it up, oh, I dump the bottle in, and then here's our soap dishes. So you can see they've got a little weave pattern on there. Got our company name laser engraved on the back. I just dip them a little, soak them. Let them drip out of there. And these are made of cedar, so they've got some beautiful red pattern to them. And they smell divine. But then again, once you put the oil on them, you kind of seal in the smell. So it's not as powerful, but it, it still gets through a little bit. I let it go, I take it out, and I lay it on the thing. about it. You, you soak it good, let it set. The uh, Royal Craftwood advises four hours. I leave them, you know, for as long as they look like they're not wet anymore. You'll have little wet spots on there, but, and then rub it in with a paper towel or I got another large one. I'll show you how we do those. We, Take one of these uh, painter's cloths, and just drip it down the top there for the bigger ones. It's kind of hard to get them all in at once, so we'll just soak the cloth, run it across, get all your edges covered. 
And these with the natural uh, wavy pattern, they kind of soak right in. Flows down pretty smooth. These are the first of the big ones I've cut for, so I may come up with a better dipping plan than this, but you can see that gets most of it. Let gravity do its work. Drag it down through there. Let it drip. I like to put it wavy side up so it soaks in on that side more so than the others. But yeah, we just do them, batch these out. Dip and rip. If you want some really nice soap, Mustard Seed Soap Company. That's an old friend of ours we've known for a long time. She got into soap making with all natural ingredients. And I've tried them, and I'm telling you, if you've never tried homemade soap, real soap, not the bar store brands, you'll never go back. They are amazing. Obsidian, that's my favorite. Try that one out. There we go. That's it. This Royal Craft Wood uh, Mineral Oil is also good for butcher block counters. Uh, you can do your granite countertops put a light coat on there let it let it dry and then seal them it'll seal the wood grains and your adds a little natural luster so there we go we've got a batch of them out I got a mess everywhere as usual pull them over a little closer And there we go. Another handful ready to go to the happy customer. Well, thank you all for watching. That was a little quick overview of finishing some cedar wood with mineral oil. I don't see a before and after. There's your before. This one's lighter, so it's going to be... Oh, I'll show you. Let's put a little quick swipe on here just by hand. See the difference as it works. This uh, wood, Royal Woodcraft mineral oil is super clear, so you don't get a lot of change in color. It gives you a little wet look. Keeps the natural colors out there pretty well. So, All right, guys, there you go. A quick look. And I am going to come up with a better idea for this these bigger ones. They don't fit down in my bucket as well. I thought they would. Yeah, I broke a little piece. I have to resand on that one. But there you go. Quick overview of some mineral oil on some cedar wood with uh, Royal Woodcraft Mineral Oil. Food grade. Thanks for watching guys. Y'all have a great one.